One of the things I find most interesting when two explorers get together is we sort of trade stories. This is Life's Tough, but explorers are tougher. I'm your host, Richard Weiss. I love the outdoors. I always have, and I always will. Richard, you know how crazy this story is. That is is all true that uh, I had the great honor of shepherding James Duhan uh, up into space. I've heard stories that would make the hair on the back of your neck stand up. I've been a pilot since I was 19. One thing that you know, you're trained as a pilot is to constantly evaluate risk, including yourself. Are you fit to fly? Are the conditions too dangerous for you in your current state with your current equipment? I'm comfortable walking out on a limb that I think could very well break. And I always tell people, the only way you're really going to know how to sail is if you tip the boat over, right? Explorers are the type of people who walk in space, go to the bottom of the ocean, and stand on the highest summits. And then I, was, I stopped dead in my tracks when I looked up, and there's a big portrait of my mother. <laughs> just staring right at me. At the American Museum of Natural History. At the American Museum of Natural History. Going to the North Pole in the small group of people and having Neil Armstrong and and Ed Hillary uh, as as your partners in the trip was an incredible experience. And it makes you realize the people factor is really what it's all about. You know, one of the biggest discoveries that we've made is just that there was a long-lasting lake of liquid water in our landing site, Gale Crater. And this water wasn't something that was very acidic. It was actually neutral. Scratch the surface of any explorer and you'll find they're all storytellers. I was a friend of Neil Armstrong because we never spoke about the moon, you know? You know, when you think of New Jersey, you should think of dinosaurs. The world's first nearly complete dinosaur skeleton was found in New Jersey. The world's first tyrannosaur was found in New Jersey, a mile from the fossil park. And so I learned a lot from her. I did teach her how to hunt and kept coming back and traveling throughout a lot of the Cheetah Range countries. This show is about their tales.